You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Randall Newsom here with your WMAR 2 News headlines. A high school student is dead after a medical emergency on the football field. It happened at Franklin High School just before 930 Wednesday morning. The student was taken to the hospital where he later died. Still no word on what the medical emergency was or what caused it. The Baltimore County Public Schools traumatic loss team has been on campus at Franklin counseling students and staff. You can also call the number right here on your screen if you need additional support. Well, the Baltimore Police Department is drawing praise for its handling of the federal consent decree, but soon it may not have enough officers to continue that success. Baltimore's top cop, Commissioner Richard Worley, is pulling out all the stops to fight an ongoing staff shortage. That includes a $10,000 hiring bonus, another $5,000 in incentives, and more take-home patrol cars. Still, even 600 officers down, the department has reduced homicides and non-fatal shootings and taken 1,400 guns off the streets. It's numbers like those that scored praise from the judge overseeing the consent decree, something not lost on Mayor Brandon Scott. If you would, someone would say to you that the White House will be lifting up Baltimore's example of how to reduce violent crime in your city, people wouldn't believe it. But that's where we are today. But still, the judge isn't giving the department a pass for its staffing shortage, saying it's downright dangerous that so few officers are covering so many shifts. Well, one man now faces 178 counts of animal cruelty. In May, police seized 83 dogs and one cat from Robert Conley's property in Central Park Heights. Animal Control said the dogs were filthy and the house smelled horrible. On Wednesday, Baltimore police arrested Conley on animal cruelty charges. Barks took all 84 of those pets in after Animal Control seized them back in May. Since then, the shelter says all 83 dogs have been adopted. The cat, Sponge Cake, is still in a foster home. If you want to give her a forever home, we've got a link to her adoption page on our website. Clouds increase across the area today and we make our way back up into the upper 80s just like we did yesterday and we turn up the humidity slightly. Mid 80s Saturday and Sunday dealing with the chance for scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms both days this weekend, some of which could be on the stronger side with damaging winds and heavy rain being the top concerns. So yes, there is the potential for some flooding out there. Uh, so just make sure you pay close attention to radar throughout the weekend. If you do have any outdoor plans, we are looking at unsettled conditions as we kick off early next week with a temperature of 85 degrees and then we dry out our skies throughout the middle part of next week. Randall. All right. Thank you, Stevie. And again, a big thank you to everyone who supported our stock the school drive. We had picture perfect weather to collect supplies and students and teachers before they go back to class. The donations will be divided among several groups, including the Harford County Education Foundation, the Student Support Network and our book drive partner school, Abbotston Elementary in Northeast Baltimore. All right, guys, you'll find the latest on the top stories of the day by going to WMAR2news.com. And for the news and weather while you're out and about, download the WMAR2news app in your app store. Thanks for watching. I'm Randall Newsom. Have a good week.